SVT Performance recently took a ride with Jared Rosen of Lethal Performance in the company's Whipple Supercharged Shelby GT350 to find out what this car is like and where the project is headed next. Good stuff. But first we needed a quick fill up of E85 before we hit the road. SVTPerformance.com. We're here driving around with Jared Rosen and Lethal Performances. What up? Whipple Supercharged GT350, the only known one on the planet. Oh yeah. So we're gonna talk a little bit about what that's like. But first of all, a little background. I know Jared, you got your start kind of uh, with a Terminator, right? That's how you got into this whole business. That's right. And uh, so you can tell us a little bit about how that started. Uh, basically got a 2003 Cobra back in uh, July of 2002 and found SVT Performance uh, online, a great place where people were talking about how to modify them and where to get parts from and stuff like that. And um, yeah, it's just a weird coincidence I ended up in the business selling parts. Well, that, you know, I think that kind of happens, you know, that's how a lot of these businesses get started. But since that time, You've gone from Terminators to GT500s to Mustang GTs to Boss 302s, and now you're at a Shelby GT350, like we said, the first supercharged one in existence. So give us a little bit of background about how you started this project and, and kind of what your goals are for it. Well, we were waiting um, for like uh, the new platform. I mean, we had uh, the 2015 GT, an awesome success with that car. It's a great vehicle. I mean, I love the, the body design of the S550s, and then we, uh, we've got an EcoBoost as well. And, uh, you know, we're really looking forward to seeing the GT500, the next body of the GT500 come out. And uh, this, I guess, was their closest thing to it. So, um, you know, we know it was really geared towards like the road course stuff and all, and, um, you know, which we've done some of that, that yeah. as well yeah but we i mean we said hey why not let's get one it's got the new 5.2 power plant in it with the flat blade crank <laughs> yes sir yeah. so um then we just decided to pick one up and start going at it sure and so you know as as we've seen and covered on svt performance you've gone from bolt-ons uh, and tuning to nitrous and and you've run some pretty impressive times ran the first 10 second pass on one of these cars yep. uh now you've you've added the first Whipple supercharger to a 5.2 liter with the flat paint play crank and you know a lot of people were skeptical of whether that was even possible and here we are driving around in it so so uh, give us a little bit of uh, feedback about what it's like to have and drive one of these cars with a supercharger. It's uh, it's pretty awesome I really haven't had like a ton of time on it because they're still working on some calibration stuff to iron out some small things but uh, I did get to drive it around the other day and spend some time with it it's it's awesome it's definitely I mean, a totally different feeling before. I mean, when you're forcing that air in, you put a whip on anything, man, it's a night and day difference. You know, you're talking the car made, what, like 475 real horsepower stock, and now it makes 819 real horsepower. So you do the math, it's making a lot more power than it did before. It's got a, a definite, uh, different feeling to it. Sure. So, now you've been around a lot of Whipple supercharged Mustangs in your time. Oh, yeah. uh, most recently, you guys had a 2015 Mustang GT with a Whipple. Uh, ran some pretty impressive numbers with that. How, did, how does this car kind of compare in the feel to that car? This car rides. I mean, this car does feel more like a race car, like a you know a track car. It's so solid and smooth and handles so well on the braking on it. I mean, it is definitely different than our GT, our premium GT. Um, but I mean, I've, we've noticed, you know, like from taking it out at, at the track and, and the road course and stuff, I mean, it's just, I mean, you can wind this thing out through the RPM range for the other cars. You know, you really don't have that much, you know, the gearing's different, the RPMs are different. This one just seems like you can wind it out and keep on going with it, so. Sure, sure. Well, I mean, from the, you know, from a Mustang GT that tops out in the around the 6,000 RPM range, and then you have the boss, we've got a seven, and now this thing goes to yeah. 8250, the supercharger has to sound pretty crazy. Yeah, it, uh, it screams, and uh, it does sound really good up top, and it's, it's really smooth, the power um, and, and the sound of it up top, and that's one, one thing what Jake said to me when they were doing some dyno testing on the car, is how well the car sounded in the upper RPM range. It was just, it had like the perfect harmonics, and it sounded so well um, that he was impressed, and you know, you definitely, while you're driving a car, you can hear it as well. So. Sure. Now, uh, I would imagine that uh, the next step for this car is to go to the drag strip and see what it will run like. 
Yes. So. Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. We'll get it out um, to the drag strip. We're waiting on a clutch right now. Um, if anyone followed the first time out at the drag strip with the car with nitrous, and we uh, we ran the 10, the clutch was slipping pretty bad, and um, you know we definitely hurt the clutch. So um, you know we got the, our good friends over at McLeod Racing building us a clutch, and uh, we're looking forward to put an RXT twin disc in here shortly, and uh, and then we'll take it back to the track. Um, you know. For a lot of people that aren't familiar, the clutch in this car is a lot different uh, than the previous uh, design clutches. It's got um, the, uh, the actual pilot bearing is built into the flywheel on this okay. one. Okay, all right. So, so they're going to have to design a custom flywheel just for this exactly. application. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And they want to get the weight. You know, there's been a lot of uh, talk about harmonics in this car and uh, you know vibration uh, with the flat plane crank and. Um, so they're going to do their best to basically match the weight of the, their clutch to the factory assembly. So we kind of keep things in line with how the car was designed, uh, you know, with harmonics and weight. Right, so, right. And, and yeah. speaking of that, I mean, with the supercharger, you've obviously added something to the Fiat of this car. Yeah. Um, did, did you notice any vibration in driving the car on the dyno or anything? No, no. I mean, nothing different than uh, than before when it was just drive around the factory. The car feels great. I mean, it's uh, it is an awesome car. They did a great job on it. Cool. Well, yeah. well, thanks a lot for giving us a ride, Jared, and we look forward to seeing what the next step is for this car. Got it.